Thousands will also be running in the London Marathon in England this weekend. In light of Boston, British authorities are now reviewing security procedures for that event and for tomorrow's funeral for former Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher. They vow the marathon will go ahead as planned. Runners will be given black ribbons to wear in honor of the victims in Boston. Brits, of course, know all too well what Boston is going through. Sean Mallon joins us now from London with more on plans for that city. Sean? Donna, London has long experience with terrorist attacks, so there's much sympathy for what Boston is enduring. Margaret Thatcher was prime minister during some of the worst days of IRA bombings. Her body is now here in a chapel in the Parliament at Westminster. The casket draped in the Union flag was transported here this afternoon without incident. The concern is tomorrow when it's brought through the heart of the city to St. Paul's Cathedral for the funeral service. We already know that some protesters will pointedly turn their backs as it passes by. Police are now reviewing and tightening their security plans for that event and for the London Marathon on the weekend. In London, the police will be taking every possible precaution to make sure that both the funeral tomorrow and the marathon at the weekend can go ahead. Added to the mix for the marathon, Prince Harry will be at the finish line near Buckingham Palace presenting awards to the winners. He's still planning on attending. Runners will observe a moment of silence before the race and are being encouraged to wear black armbands in sympathy with the victims of Boston. Donna? Everyone on high alert there in London. Sean Mallon, thank you.